ye shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which ye shall possess served their gods, upon the high mountains, and upon the hills, and under every green tree. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. All religion have one founding father. Satan is the founding father of religion. The gods being worshipped and served in all religion is Satan and his fallen angels. The heathen's definition for religion is the belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods. The first red flag that should have stood out to everyone is superhuman. The heathens believe the God or gods they serve in religion is a superhuman. That alone should have every Israelite disassociating themselves with religion. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High is a spirit, not a superhuman. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. To the Israelites who practice the religion called Christianity, you need to understand the God you are serving in this religion is a superhuman. Since you are serving a superhuman, the Elohim of Israel is not the one you are serving. A superhuman is not a spirit. The Most High is a spirit, as the scriptures state. It is very important to pay attention to details. The Elohim of Israel said he desired for his people to worship him in spirit and in truth. What does it mean to worship the Most High in the Spirit and in truth? Your body is the temple that house the Spirit of the Most High. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? The Most High placed his Spirit in his people because John knew beforehand that his holy temple in Jerusalem would be destroyed. His people would go into captivity. In the land of their captivity, they would not be able to worship because the Israelites are scattered and no longer had the temple. Putting his spirit in his people will connect the Israelites to him. By giving us his Holy Spirit, the Most High is fulfilling his promise of never forsaking his people. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. You do not need a church building to gather to worship nor to serve the Most High. Most of these churches and temples are not there to worship the Elohim of Israel, but to worship idols. You will soon know the reason the kingdom of darkness make the people gather into a church, temple, or a synagogue. Israelites, you can speak directly to the Most High through prayer. If you do not know what to say, the Holy Spirit intercede on your behalf through silent groaning. Likewise. The Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Another important reason the Most High place His Spirit in His people, the Levitical priesthood is non-existent in the land of our captivity. Due to Israelites losing their culture heritage, nobody truly know who are the Levites. Aaron's descendants are the only priests for the Most High. We do not know who Aaron's descendants are today. The Levite tribe was chosen to handle all the affairs in the temple. Today, the heathens are the head of every church, temple, and synagogue, making the place of worship an abomination. If the church was a place to serve and worship the Elohim of Israel, a non-Israelite would not dare place himself or herself in leadership positions, especially if they are not from the tribe of Levi. The scripture said no stranger could enter his sanctuary. Thus saith the Lord God, No stranger, uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. Serving the Most High in the spirit and in the truth is a personal relationship with the Most High. You do not need a mega church or a temple to serve the Most High. Let your spirit communicate with the Holy Spirit to draw near to the Most High. 
Religion is a system created by the kingdom of darkness to control people in every race. Religion do not only affect Israelites, but everyone who practice any form of religion. The religion system is used to deceive the masses into rebelling against the Most High through idolatry. Anywhere there is idolatry, witchcraft is present. Idolatry and witchcraft goes hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. This is why the church, temple, camps, and synagogues are home to high-level workers of iniquity. Israelites, the churches, synagogues, temples, assemblies and camps are altars built to the kingdom of darkness it is important to the kingdom of darkness to get the people to gather in these places at the altars the workers of iniquity can cast all sorts of spells on the people these workers of iniquity that disguise themselves as priests pastors deacons and evangelists sacrifice their congregation to their evil altars the workers of iniquity change destinies at their evil altars. In addition, they tie your spirit in the spirit realm to the evil altars. Religion is a system of bondage. Many Israelites are bond men and bond women, and they need to be set free from the spirit of bondage. The scriptures inform us that the Most High did not give us the spirit of bondage. But ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The heathens use religion to keep our ancestors in slavery. Until this day, we have Israelites who are devoted to the same religion that is keeping them in physical and mental slavery. Listen to the words of the Most High. Yah did not give you the spirit of bondage. Therefore, rebuke the spirit of bondage. Many Israelites through the satanic religion system is making themselves slaves again after the Most High has delivered them from that religious bondage. Do not follow the footsteps of our ancestors when the Most High delivered them from the first house of bondage, Egypt. The Israelites complain when the conveniences Egypt made available to them was gone. The Israelites wanted to return to the house of bondage, Egypt, despite the heavy labor. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots, and when we did eat bread to the full. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. The Israelites who are deep into religion is committing the sin of idolatry. Due to the sin of idolatry, when they pray, the Most High is not listening to their prayers. In addition, sin separate us from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. The protection the Israelites had in the Most High is no longer available to them when iniquity is found in them. The kingdom of darkness successfully disconnect them from the Most High. Due to the sin of idolatry, the kingdom of darkness gained the freedom to oppress their life. The Israelites in the religion system are making covenants with the idols in their church, temple, camp, and synagogues. Every time a Christian Israelite enters a church, he or she is renewing the covenant. Most Israelites are not aware that they are forging covenants when they enter these places of worship. In addition, they do not realize they are putting generational curses in their bloodline, transferring the evil covenants from one generation to the next. When sin is found in you, it brings the judgment of the Most High. The Most High detests idolatry. The number one commandment Yah gave to His people, there should be no other gods before Him. The sin of idolatry is what landed the Israelites in the land of their captivity. While the Israelites dwell in the land of their captivity, the kingdom of darkness gained the opportunity to oppress them. Most Israelites who are faithful to the church are not aware they are serving idols. They have been deceived into believing they are serving the Most High. That is how our enemies rule over us, through deception. The scriptures are being fulfilled. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. The way the heathens are ruling over Israelites is by disconnecting them from the Most High. Yah is your provider, protector, and source. When the Most High is not there to protect, you are at the mercies of the kingdom of darkness. Only the Most High can save his people. 
No other idol or humans can deliver the Israelites. This is why every time someone wrongs us, there is no one to plead our case. The heathens petition their idols to oppress you, to make you submit to them. Most people are in disbelief to see how far we have fallen as a people. This is the result when you lack knowledge and when you forsake your only source, the Elohim of Israel. When the heathens ask Israelites whose spirits are tied to religious altars for forgiveness, Israelites will forgive because the evil religious altars are dictating their every move. In addition, the satanic doctrines coming from the pulpits of Satan's disciples are adding to their demise. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The demonic doctrines are further destroying our people. Remember, Israelites, you can forge verbal covenants as well. When Satan's disciples preach and you agree with the message, that is forging a covenant. When you forgive your enemies, you prevent the Most High's wrath from executing judgment on your oppressors. You are interfering with your own deliverance. The Most High did not command his people to forgive their enemies. Forgiveness is for our people. We have to learn to forgive each other, not the people who brutally attack us. The heathens who have a perpetual hatred towards us do not forgive us. They kill us and hold themselves not guilty. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. If the heathens had the same compassion towards you when you wronged them, the world would be a better place. When a heathen woman cries, her other half seek revenge. The barbaric heathen men destroy everything in its path to satisfy his rage. Then he proclaims the day a holiday to celebrate his so-called victory. Where is the compassion towards you? The religion system Satan created main purpose is to disable you and arm the heathens. Satan has blinded the eyes of the heathens. Satan grant them their hard desire to blind them from the consequences of their actions. Due to their blindness, Satan used them to carry out his plans. The heathens are not ready nor aware of what the Most High has prepared for them. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. It is important for you to understand their God is not our God. In today's society, you see Israelites hating their own people and uplifting their enemies. That is witchcraft. A spell was cast on our people to cause them to act this way. There is a lot of sorcery directed towards us in the form of religion, and many Israelites are unaware. The Israelites who are affected by the sorcery, they are not living a life pleasing to the Most High. The Israelites who adopt the ways of the world and choose to befriend the world, the Most High gave them into the hands of their enemies. This is why you see Israelites falling left and right. Their rejection to seek knowledge and to let go of the ways of the world bring forth the wrath of the Most High. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Many Israelites mistake the sorcery for bad luck, coincidence, and unbelief. The indoctrination of our people in the satanic religion system is destroying our people. The kingdom of darkness used the spirit of fear to intimidate our people into accepting the satanic religion system. Israelites, the Most High did not give us the spirit of fear. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Satan's religion has programmed into the minds of Israelites that if you do not believe in the idol called Jesus, you are not going to heaven. The workers of iniquity inform the world that Christianity is the only way. The kingdom of darkness used fear to intimidate Israelites into accepting the religion system. From the time you are a youth into your adult years, you are told to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Most likely you will accept this idol. If you reject, the spirit of fear will press you until you submit. The spirit of fear will place negative thoughts into your mind. Thoughts such as you will burn in hell, you will not go to heaven, you will be left behind when Jesus comes to rapture the church. The workers of iniquity who disguise themselves as angels of light will proclaim you are wicked if you're not a Christian. 
the purpose of Satan's disciples encouraging you to accept their idols. They want to enslave you to their altars. Saving your life has nothing to do with the urgency to accept Jesus. The more people they have tied to their altar, the more rewards they receive from their idols. The kingdom of darkness used the same strategy to control the heathens as well. Remember, the religion system is not biased. Satan used religion to control the world. When the workers of iniquity program you to accept the idol called Jesus, a covenant is made. You are now enslaved to the religious altar. Religion is ordering your steps instead of Yah. The scriptures inform us that the steps of a righteous person is ordered by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. You do not need to accept an idol for the Most High to order your steps. Draw near to the Most High and he will draw near to you. Israelites, it does not matter what religion you practice. All forms of religion is satanic, including the Hebrew Israelite religion. The awakening is not about religion, but repentance. When Hebrew Israelites camps and other assemblies operate just like the church, they are no different from religion. If they observe the holy days the same day the heathens hold their satanic holidays, what God are they serving? The scriptures warn us not to follow the heathens. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The kingdom of darkness is an organized kingdom. Religion is used to oppress, radicalize, isolate, and elevate certain groups of people. Religion is used to oppress our people. The longer the kingdom of darkness keep us oppressed and in sin, the longer the synagogue of Satan get to rule. The kingdom of darkness radicalize certain people to use them to start wars and oppress nations. The kingdom of darkness use isolation to keep other groups from interfering with their agenda. The kingdom of darkness use religion to elevate certain people to get them to accept his ways and use them to gain control of this world. Religion is not meant to unify us nor to save our lives. Religion is a system Satan used to give the synagogue of Satan power to control people and carry out Satan's will for the physical realm. You can serve the most high in the spirit and in truth outside of religion. Christianity is a religion that has held Israelites back for multiple generations. So all the Christian Israelites, in what way has Christianity benefit you? Your oppressors are elevating and ruling over you. The religion you are devoted to inform you that you are the curse of Ham. Yet many Israelites are dedicated Christians. You serve an idol called Jesus. White Jesus is a God for the heathens. This is why white Jesus blessed the heathens and elevate the heathens. White Jesus has done nothing for you. The Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel look like you. The Bible is a book speaking about your black history and future events. The Bible is not a religious book. The synagogue of Satan took the Israelite sacred text, inserted themselves in the scriptures, transform our culture into a religion. The heathens continue to steal from our culture and proclaim they have invented everything. The Bible is not a Christian Bible. It is a book of laws, prophecy, and instructions to the Israelites on how to live for their Elohim. Nowhere in the scriptures did the Most High call his people Christians. He called his people Israelite. The Hebrew Bible is for the Israelites. Everyone should know by now religion is the destroyer of human civilization. The kingdom of darkness used religion to start wars. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, is the head of all religion in the physical realm. The kingdom of darkness used religion to create division. In what way has religion helped anyone? Israelites, religion is witchcraft. Religion is an enemy to the Most High. Yah fought hard to keep his people from religion. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain, pure religion, and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Yah put his spirit in his people to remain close to his people. You do not need to go to a building that is an altar in disguise to meet the Most High. Yah is dwelling in you. The satanic place of worship is doing you more harm than good. Israelites, 
The Elohim we serve is a no-nonsense Elohim. You are in the land of your captivity despite being his creation and chosen people. I have heard heathens refer to the Elohim of Israel as an angry God. The scriptures inform us that the Most High is an Elohim of war. In addition, Yahshua, the real Messiah, said he did not come to bring peace on earth. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. The heathens ignore the scriptures that do not support their agenda. If the heathens believe the Elohim of Israel is an angry Elohim, what God do you believe you are serving in the church? The image they bombard you with look like your oppressors. They love that image and hate the Elohim of the Old Testament. Do you actually believe you are serving the Elohim of Israel in religion? The Most High said he does not change. If Yah is full of wrath in the Old Testament, then he will be full of wrath in the New Testament. Israelites, you are serving an idol that the heathens created to satisfy their hatred towards the Elohim of Israel. By you joining their religion, you became their ally and an enemy to the Most High. Israelites, now is the time for you to get rid of the idols you hold in high esteem in your heart to serve the Elohim of Israel. Religion is not going to draw you closer to the Most High. Religion is actually causing a division between you and your Elohim. The best way for the kingdom of darkness to keep us down as a people to come in between you and your Elohim. The Most High is giving you wisdom and understanding of all sorts. You have to wake up out of your slumber. You have to make the decision to serve the Most High. You can no longer be passive towards your enemies. You have to be vigilant of your enemies and your environment. The Most High is not waking you up for you to do nothing with the information He is giving you. Get up and do something about your situation. In order for the Most High to order your steps, you must take a step. Israelites, free yourself this day from the house of bondage. Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. 